Hi, my name is Lauren. I, this is my first trimester in science. I am studying about physics. Physics is the study of matter and its motion through space and time. To understand matter, you need to know measurement. There are three main units of measurement. That's distance, which is like inches, meters, centimeters, uh, mass, which is grams, kilograms, and pounds, and time, which is seconds, milliseconds, days, years, light years. There's all to 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 measure distances. We also need to know angles. Angles are measured in degrees. In degrees, using distances, the distance of length times the distance of width equals area. Area is the number of square units in a flat surface. The distance of height times the distance of width times the distance of depth equals volume. Volume is the amount of three-dimensional space in an object. Volume is measured in inches cubed, centimeters cubed, meters cubed, etc. Velocity is the amount of time it takes to get from one point to another. It is the, dis the measurement of distance divided by the measurement of time. Some units of velocity are miles per hour and feet per second. For my physics project, I did the study of velocity. As part of my velocity experiment, I measured out different distances and saw and tried to find how, how fast I could go for each distance. Using the speeds I, I got from running, I uh, I calculated my average miles per hour and plotted them onto this chart. For 18 feet, I was going about 6 miles per hour. For 68 feet, I was going about uh, 9.3 miles per hour. For 84 feet, I was going about 8.4 miles per hour. And for 150 feet, I was going about, about 9.1 miles per hour. As you can see from this graph, my velocity peaks between 50 and 70 feet. To find out more about my velocity's peak, we measured 50 feet and then added some 20 more to get 70 feet. I started at z 0 feet and ran 50 feet. At 50 feet, I was timed. To, to see how fast I was going between 50 feet and 70 feet. My average, my average time between those two points was 1.24 seconds. Using this information, using that time, I found out that I was going 16.16 feet per second or 11.02 miles per hour. I now know if I go from 0 to 18 feet, I can go 6 miles per hour. And if I go from 0 to 68 feet, I can go 9.3 miles per hour. If I go from 0 to 84 feet, I can go 8.8 .8 miles per hour. And if I go from 0 to 150 feet, I can go 9.1 miles per hour. But if, but my peak, but I know that my peak is faster, which is 11.2 miles per hour, which we be right about here. Now let's talk about thing, velocity, things that have velocity that goes much faster, like rockets. To find out the rocket's velocity, we, I will need to use trigonometry. Trigonometry is how sides and angles of a right triangle are related. The sides are the hypotenuse side, which is the side opposite the right angle. The opposite side, which is the side opposite the angle that we are interested in, in this case that is theta, and the adjacent side, which is like the leftover side. From these you can have sine, cosine, and tangent. Sine is the length of the opposite side divided by the length of the hypotenuse side. Cosine is the length of the adjacent side divided by the length of, a, of the hypotenuse side. And tangent is the length of the opposite side divided by the length of the adjacent side. Now let's go out and calculate the speed of a rocket. My first bus stop ever! You ready? Yep. John? Power? Good. Yep. Austin? 
systems, go. Five, four, three, two, one. Go. Okay, ready. You ready, Lauren? Yes. I finally got a sh When the rockets were launched, my mom timed them to see how long it took for them to get to their highest point. And when they got to their highest point, I measured to see what this angle was. And the average angle for each one was, the average angle was 17 degrees, and the average time was six seconds. And, and using, because I know that this is 17 degrees and this is 90 degrees, I know that this is 73 degrees. And using, because, and because this is 73 degrees, because I know that, I can use, um, I can use tangent to calculate what is opposite, which is the height of the rock, the, how high the rocket goes. And 70, tangent of 73 degrees equals opposite divided by 100. And tangent of 73 degrees is 2.61, which is equal to opposite over 100. So you multiply 2.61 by 100, and you get 261 feet, which is opposite. And using that, and using what, well, and using that, um, and the time, we can calculate. A six point one six miles per hour. This is the conclusion of my physics, and um, I hope you like my report.